Hello, dear friends. I am Violeta from Crafting with View of You. I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful hearts. Let us start with the first color. Make a slip knot on your hook and chain 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Now we're going to work a double crochet into the fifth stitch from the beginning of this chain. So one, two, three, four, and five. So yarn over and make a double crochet. Grab the two loops of the chain and make a double crochet stitch. Then chain one and make a double crochet into the second from, from this double crochet, so it's one and two, or maybe let's count it from this side, one, two, and three, the third uh, chain stitch from the beginning of the chain. Slip knot is not counted as a stitch, okay? So double crochet into the third chain stitch from the end, sorry, from the beginning, I guess. Then chain one, double crochet into the first chain stitch. Okay, so now we have this chain space and three double crochet stitches. Now chain four, one, two, three, and four, and turn with the wrong side to yourself and work a double crochet into the second double crochet. So this will be the first double crochet and this is the second. So make a double crochet into the second double crochet of the previous row, then chain one, and a double crochet into the next double crochet. Then chain one and make a double crochet into the second chain stitch from this double crochet. So it will be one, two into this single crochet stitch. Okay, now chain four, turn and make a double crochet into the second double crochet. So it will be first double crochet in this round, in this row. Then chain, sing, uh, double crochet into the next double crochet, chain, and a double crochet into the second chain stitch of this chain space. It's right here. Now we have this beautiful square. Then we're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Don't make the stitches too tight, okay? And we're going to turn and work around this uh, corner, this chain space in this corner, okay? Just make a single crochet stitch and chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And slip stitch into the second chain stitch in this um, a chain space, so we're right into this one, like this. So now we have the body of the heart and the lobes. Next, we're going to work two single crochets into this chain space and into this chain space. So single crochet, single crochet, then single crochet in, and single crochet into the next space. And into this space, we're going to make three single crochets, two chain stitches and three single crochets. So three single crochets, one, two, and three, then two chains, and then three single crochets. And I'm going to work around this tail so I don't have to weave it in in the end. One, two, and three, then two single crochets into the next space, one and two, and two single crochets into the next space, one and oops, two. Okay, so the bottom of the heart is done. So now let us work a single crochet right into this stitch into which you see like right here in, in intersection. So we need to make a chain, uh, a single crochet right into this stitch. From here, we're going to work around this chain. It's a single crochet, half double crochet, 
eight um, double crochets, half double crochet, and a single crochet. So let's do that. Single crochet, half double crochet, eight double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now half double crochet and a single crochet okay now we're going to slip stitch into this single crochet right here and work the same pattern on this side a single crochet half double crochet uh, a double crochets half double crochet and a single crochet so let's do it single crochet half double crochet uh, eight double crochets one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then half double crochet and a single crochet. And we're going to join with a slip stitch into the first single crochet at the beginning of this round. Like this. Then make a chain stitch. And you can cut the yarn if you're going to work with several colors. Cut the yarn, tighten the stitch, and we're going to work over it into in the next round. Or you can use a um, tapestry needle or a smaller size hook to weave it in, in, the, in the back. Now let us join second color. Start with a slip knot on the hook and single crochet into the first single crochet on this side of the heart. So single crochet into the first single crochet, then single crochet chain seven times and the next single crochet will be into the next stitch. So single crochet, chain one, single crochet into the next stitch, chain two, I mean second uh, time, then single crochet, chain one, three, single crochet, chain one, four, single crochet, chain one, five, single crochet, chain one, six, single crochet, chain one, seven. And now from here, we're going to work 12 single crochets around um, along this side. So sing single crochet, one, two, three, four. I'm going to work into the slip stitch two. So five, then into the first single crochet of the previous round. Then seven, and here I'm go I'm working around this tail. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so this side is done, and now into this chain space we're going to work single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So single crochet chain two and single crochet now from here we are going to work 12 single crochet stitches starting with this first one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and here we're going to make chain stitches. So chain, single crochet, chain, single crochet, six times, uh, seven times, chain, single crochet one, chain, single crochet two, chain, single crochet three, chain, single crochet four, chain, single crochet five, chain, single crochet six, chain, single crochet seven, and now we're going to make one more single crochet into the next stitch and join this round with an invisible stitch. So we're going to cut the yarn, pull this yarn out of this stitch, insert the hook into the back of the first single crochet stitch, pull the yarn onto the back. Now insert the hook into the back of the last single crochet stitch and pull the yarn onto, onto the back 
through that stitch, tighten it really well. And now I'm going to make a knot, double knot, and these tails will be woven into the back of this heart afterwards. Okay, so this second round, I mean second color, is done. Okay, so now let's grab the next color, make a slip knot, and we will start working into the second single crochet. So we will skip this, the first one, work into the second, make a single crochet. Then we're going to work single crochet, chain three, and then single crochet into the next chain space, chain three, single crochet into the next chain space, and like this, six times. So we will start single crochet into the next chain space, chain three, single crochet into the next chain space, chain three, two, single crochet into the next chain space, chain three, three, single crochet into the next chain space, chain three, four, single crochet into the next chain space, chain three, five, single crochet into the next chain space, chain three six and single crochet into the next chain space okay so we have one two three four five and six next we're going to work chain three skip one stitch single crochet chain uh, three skip one stitch single crochet and like this six times so chain three skip one stitch single crochet chain stitch skip one stitch single crochet into the next stitch chain three, skip one stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, chain three, skip one stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, chain three, skip one stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, chain three, single crochet into the next stitch. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Next, we're going to work single crochet into this chain space, then chain three and single crochet into the next chain space. You can do three or four chains. It's really how, uh, depends on how pointy you want it. Oh, let's make it four, okay? So ch single crochet into this uh, chain two space, then chain four and single crochet into the same chain space. Perfect. Now we're going to work single crochet into the first single crochet, first single crochet. Don't forget this one, okay? Don't work into the second. First single crochet. So we made single crochet, then chain three, skip one stitch, work into the next, chain three, skip one stitch, work into the next, chain three, skip one stitch, single crochet, chain three, skip one stitch, single crochet, one, two, three, four, chain three, skip one stitch, single crochet, chain three, skip one stitch, single crochet into the chain space. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now chain three, single crochet into the next chain space. Six times. Chain three, single crochet into the next chain space. Chain three. Okay, so this is two, three, Four, five, and six. Let us check again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And now single crochet into the next stitch. And here we are going to work a double crochet, a drop double crochet into this single crochet, remember? right in between these two, right in this corner, we had a single crochet. We're going to work a double crochet right into this corner. Make it quite tight, okay? So hook into the single crochet, pull up a loop, and make a double crochet. Now here, if you want, you can add a little loop like this. Let's do it together. I'll, I'll show you how to do that. So this loop can be as long as you want. Let's make it like 20 stitches. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, tw
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And now we're going to join this chain in with a slip stitch into the same double crochet like this and join with a slip stitch into the first single crochet or at the beginning of this round like this or you can also um, cut the yarn cut the yarn pull it out of the stitch insert the hook into the back of this first single crochet stitch and pull the yarn onto the back and then um, insert the hook into the back loop of this double crochet and pull this yarn through it like this and tighten it really well okay really really well to close it really well and then make this knot here and make a double knot so it doesn't unravel and then I will use a smaller size hook to weave in all the ends of this, in the back of this heart. So like this and like this. Oops. So some of the yarns will go into one side of the heart and some into the other. And nobody will know the secret of our heart. Actually, these yarns, when you pull them through these stitches inside, it will make the heart more like 3D, more textured. And it will be our little secret. Okay. Okay, and now this side though. All these ends of the yarn into these stitches inside Oops. and some more Okay, now I'm going to clean it up. I have a little piece here, here. Also here. And so we learned how to make this little heart. I hope that you liked this tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a like. Please subscribe to my channel and please join my Facebook group. And also, if you need a written instructions or a chart for this uh, heart, it will be available in my Ravelry store. And if you want to learn how to connect these hearts into a blanket, please let me know in, um, in the comments below and I will create a separate video tutorial. Happy Valentine's and happy crocheting!